Hey Dumplings, it's Dave the Sai. Welcome back to my channel. First off, I'd like to thank you for joining me today on today's tea. Don't forget to stream Dynamite after this. I have been online streaming and I've been going through so many things of what people have been saying and what's been going on on the internet after the stream. The little rubbles of what's been going on on the internet because the internet is destroyed. But I was able to see some people were kind of saying that Dynamite was like stolen or copied or that it feels like a copy. And I definitely want to get into that and give my theories and opinions on it. I also want to get into the fun tea of Jungkook saying marry me. We will jump into the tea here on that. So please, if you are new here and you're interested in this type of stuff, please make sure you hit the subscribe button and that notification bell so you'll be notified anytime a new video drops. And if you use a hater, I'd like to be the first to leave your hate comment, please make sure you hit the subscribe button and that notification bell also so you can be the first to do so. Now, let's get into it. Now, make sure you watch all the way to the end because I want to kind of go over at the end what the proper way to stream the music video is because I've been seeing a lot of people stream the music video and they're doing it incorrectly. And when you do it incorrectly, the views won't count and they'll end up being deleted. But we'll touch on that at the end. The first thing I want to get into is the song Dynamite. And the alleged theory of it being copied. It was actually 12 a.m. when it dropped and I was up, I was watching it. I love this time slot a lot better. It's a lot better than what it was before, which was 3 or 4 a.m. I pretty much did not sleep that much. I just streamed. We have a record to break, okay? Us armies, we can't be sleeping all day. Hopefully, YouTube won't delete these views. But if you have been online, you will see a lot of people talking about this and how they feel about it and saying that it looks very similar to Boy With Love. This is the first point. If you go on Twitter, you'll see a lot of tweets kind of talking about it like this. Keep saying Dynamite is a copy of Boy With Love. All you want, but BTS won't hear you. They'll be busy breaking records. I 100% agree. BTS is too busy. They're too unbothered. Those haters subscribed and they hit that notification bell, but BTS, BTS ignoring it because they're king. Now, I mentioned this in my reaction video to Dynamite, which was my last video. It does have somewhat of a similar aesthetic to Boy With Love. The colorfulness of Dynamite and the colorfulness of Boy With Love. You also have kind of this like fun vibe with Boy With Love that you have with Dynamite. But other than that, they are very different. And if you're going by those standards of similarity, a lot of songs kind of overlap there. There. The similarity would just be that building sign. And even the boys' hair colors are completely different. Even with Dynamite, their hair colors are a little bit more natural. Some of them. And then the big sign, one says Persona and one says Disco. Completely different. These, if you didn't know, are two different words. And then the other similarity is that they're dancing in front of it, but like, that's the point. But literally no other part of Dynamite is similar to Boy With Love, in my opinion. Also, since when is it a crime to be inspired to recreate your own art? If you truly believed this was copied, which I don't believe it was, then what's the crime of recreating something that was already yours? Then I was seeing comments and kind of tweets saying that the song itself is similar, not the music video. Now, of course, at least with the Boy With Love similarity claims, it's coming from armies or people who are a fan of BTS or at least a fan of K-pop, right? Enough to watch Boy With Love and of course enough to watch Dynamite. However, the copying of the song claims are probably from people who have never heard or watched Boy With Love and then just heard the song Dynamite. One person mentioned this, Dynamite by BTS it's just a second copy of Uptown Funk by Bruno Mars. I honestly don't hear this at all. Like even to say that Dynamite has like a retro feel and that Uptown Funk also has a retro feel, I don't feel that's true either. They are completely different sounding to me. They don't even have the same like chord progressions, I don't think. It's like if you said it sounded like Super Bass by Nicki Minaj, I'd be like, huh? Where? It's a completely different vibe and completely different feel. Uptown Funk has a different feel and energy towards Dynamite. The problem I kind of have with a lot of Western music, definitely not all. There are tons of songs that don't have this, but is that everything in Western music is usually sexualized a lot. Nothing against Bruno himself because he does have songs that aren't sexualized. Dynamite is literally just a fun song. They're not singing about a particular person. They're just singing about waking up and having a good day. They're not singing about a girl or anything like that. It's very much a quirky and kind of weird vibe that Dynamite has, which I love. It's who I am to the core of my being. It starts off by saying, shoes off, wake up in the morning, cup of milk. I mean, it doesn't get more quirky than that. In my reaction video, I think I offended some people by saying, who even drinks a cup of milk in the morning? I would say I'm sorry, but I just don't agree with your life choices. I'm kidding, of course. Do whatever you want. Life is too short. But to understand that this song was definitely not a copy and definitely not a straight up copy of Boy With Love even. You have to understand where the song comes from and then maybe you can understand what the thought process was behind making. They obviously weren't thinking of ripping off their own song. During a little interview they had, they mentioned their inspiration for the song. They wanted to release a song for people who weren't doing very well currently in the pandemic. And I mean emotionally. I'm sure this would help people who are physically not doing well, but they were definitely talking about the people who mentally weren't in a good space. V mentioned that they had initially no intention of ever releasing this song. V mentioned how he loves singing and dancing and that the song was meant for people who are just having it rough right now and who should be getting up and singing and dancing. And this is why it was made in English so that it could appeal to a wider amount of people. And it's no doubt a fun song. It's not something you would and probably should not take seriously because there's nothing serious about this song to take. It's something just there to kind of brighten your mood. Maybe something to listen to where you can smile and laugh a little bit about. I took a short nap and then I woke 
woke up streaming to this and I gotta tell you, my day, it's a little bit better. Makes me happy. Perhaps this means that the song is not included in the most beautiful moment in life series. Maybe the next video will be a continuation of that series. But since this music video wasn't initially meant to be put out, maybe this doesn't follow the story. But let's not get into those bag of worms right now. Ew, a bag of worms? Can you imagine? I'm sorry if you're a worm and you're watching this in a bag. I'm so happy that BTS is able to bring so many smiles to so many people's faces and just make them feel really great right now. It was definitely released at a really good time because people are probably starting to go back to school maybe within the next week or so or maybe they have already in some countries but here in America it's usually way at the end of August or like the beginning of September. So armies will have a lot of time right now to stream it, to have fun, be active online. Armies come through. We are going to break the record. Armies were definitely freaking out because it was definitely weeks and weeks of preparation, weeks of people talking about. They announced this like a month ago. They put so much hype into this. Oh, the hype. And then finally when the teaser dropped, I mean, I died a little bit after that, but no one cares about me dying, so we won't get into that. BTS definitely sat down and kind of talked about everything that was going on and gave some answers to some armies. I'm glad they decided to answer our dying question. It's like a little streaming party and BTS is there and we're all watching. It's just wonderful. One of the most popular questions actually that was asked on the live stream was marry me. Not really a question, more like a demand. And I don't appreciate you asking my seven husbands that. They were asking questions on a tablet and Jin kind of passed along the tablet to Jungkook and RM. They looked at marry me and basically did the most randomest thing. They sang marry me, like that word. They sang it in the tune of their song Jamais Vu. Like both of them at the same time. They both did the exact same quirky thing at the same time. It is so weird. Like so many questions come into my mind. And I went ahead and translated the lyric to Jamais Vu and I couldn't find the word marry me in there. So it's not like the word marry me triggered kind of the song for them. It was just completely random that Jungkook and RM chose to sing marry me in that tune because they could have sang it in any other other song. And then also the fact that they sang it at the same time. I don't even know. Like how does this even happen? Jungkook and RM are officially mind readers. They have telekinetic abilities with each other. And they too were actually both super shocked. They just stared at each other for a good second. The rest of the boys heard this too and they started laughing really hard. And J-Hope even gave Jungkook a little push like wah. I would too like oh my god. Now that's cute and all but Jungkook has yet to answer the question. Is it a no because you're married to me? Oh I'm kidding. Unless. I love when our boys are together. They are super cute. They are super funny. They always do the most unexpected things. I guess that's pretty expected when you guys are together for such a long time. Now last thing I want to get into as a promise is of course the streaming and how to stream Dynamite properly and this goes with any music video. I was seeing a lot of people online who are not streaming properly and this is not going to count your view in the music video. Like it may show up right now but it's not going to show up in the long term and YouTube will probably delete those views after the 24 hours is up. They've done this with other music videos before. Like this happened with Black Swan on and whatever and with so many other other music videos. So let's do this correctly and let's spread the word, share this if you would like people to see it. So basically you can't just sit there on the Dynamite music video and hit refresh or hit replay. That's not going to work. So you do need to go and watch Dynamite. So watch it all the way through so your view counts. Make sure the volume is up. Make sure you're listening to the song like that's what YouTube wants to know. Then go to another video. Stream that video. Watch it. You can watch this one, whatever. Then go back to Dynamite and stream it again. If you do this, your view will count as two views. Whereas if you just refresh and hit replay or whatever, it'll just be one view. YouTube wants to know that you're actually streaming this properly. You're actually on the platform and you're just watching it, not constantly hitting replay because that counts as spam. So if you then watch it and then go back, this is what YouTube wants. And this is also how they determine if a video is good or not. So if you keep doing that, YouTube will actually go and suggest the video to other people. And then more and more people will find it. Also, just a quick thing. There's a lot of misconception about reaction videos. And I have to clear that up. When someone goes ahead and makes a reaction video, just like how I've made one for Dynamite, I do not even make one cent off of that video. I strictly did that just to do that because it does help. Every dollar or every ad that is played on that video goes to Big Hit, not to me. They take it all. I remember reading some news article that said that the views on a reaction video actually count towards BTS's amount of streams that they collected in 24 hours. Now streaming a reaction video doesn't necessarily count towards breaking YouTube's record, but it helps with chart rankings as well. Similar to how you stream songs on Spotify and things like that. So how many views my video actually has? It counts towards Dynamite's ranking on the charts. So if you have a favorite reaction channel or reaction video, make sure you stream that because that also helps BTS as well. And then of course, you have to have something to stream in between streaming Dynamite. Let me know what you think about all this. Let me know what you think about everything that I have mentioned here today. I'd love to hear it. Drop it down in the comment section down below. Give this video a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'm featuring this comment right here. Thank you so much for your
And as always, I do have a Patreon. If you want to go over to my Patreon, kind of check that out. Anything you contribute over there really does help kind of give back to this channel, make my videos better on here. And of course, the reaction videos are over there as well. So you can just make sure to check that out. You can get exclusive content like music video reactions, performance reactions, ship reactions, all that stuff over on my Patreon. I will leave a link down below so you can go ahead and click right to the Dynamite music video and you can go stream it again. With that said, there's two videos that will appear on screen at the end of the video. So click on one of those. See you over there. Bye.